Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode we are going to explore topic variables in the world of Copilot Studio. Yes, it's a very interesting concept. Whenever we are building the Copilot agent, at that time variable is something which we are using drastically. And whenever you are creating any new topic inside that as well, we are consuming different variable. Now those variable you can supply it to your another topic as well. For that, there is an amazing concept available in the world of Copilot Studio. Let's try and deep dive more into that. So here I am on my machine and already here on my screen, you can see that I have one topic created called book committing. In book committing, I have asked couple of questions over here to the user that what's your name, what's your email address, what's your phone number, as well as I am having like uh, which training program you are interested in and that's pretty much it. So four questions which I'm asking at this point over here within this topic. Now in Copilot Studio, if you want to see how many variables are created during the topic creation process, you can always see the variable section on the top right corner over here. Now when you click on your variable option, you will be able to see all your variable over here. So you can see that these are my different variable, topic variable, global variable, environment variable. Currently, this video is intended specifically on the topic variable only. So let's focus on the topic variable. Now, what I'm doing here is simply I'm just expanding my topic variables over here. And overall here, you can see in my screen that I can see four topic variable over here, like email address, name, you know, whichever uh, stuff that you have added over here, like name, right? So that variable name is nothing but a name, right? So you can see email address, name, phone number, training program, different, different variables available over here, right? Now let's do one important thing over here. Whenever you are having the variable at the time, you can able to see this two property option over here. One is incoming and another is outgoing. Okay, now what do we mean by in and out variable over here? Let's talk about that in detail over here. Alright, so first of all, this is what it is called as the in variable and the syntax itself is a self explanatory over here. Basically, it receives the value from the another topic. So sometimes you have a situation where you have another topic and from that topic, you want to supply some value to this topic, which means book a training topic. At the time, you can make that variable as in variable. Okay. And what is out variable? Out variable means what? So whenever you make any variable as out variable, it return the values from the original topic. So whenever you call that particular topic, whatever value is being supplied over here, basically it, sub it return that value to that topic. Okay. Now let's see that with the practical example. So you will get a better understanding around that. Okay. So first of all, let's say this is a simple topic. And if I am again going to the topic, this is what I created over here. Like uh, currently I'm running my power platform training company and underneath that I'm running different programs like Power F, Power Automate, Copilot Studio and all. Right. Now for that, uh, let's say for an example, I'm building a chatbot where I'm taking the student's inquiry. Okay. And that's the reason why I ask for the name email address, phone number and which training they are interested in. Okay. And as we say, there are four variables are created as a part of the topic variable. Now, let's me just first of all, taste you about this out variable over here for myself. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is simply this is my topic. And let me just make all the variables over here as out variable over here. Now, what would be happen after that? Let's have a quick look around that as well. So I make all of my variable as a out variable from this box. Now let me click on save at this point. All right. And now what I'm doing here is let me create one more topic over here just for a sample purpose. So I'm just going here and clicking one topic over here. So I'm just adding one blank topic over here and let me provide the topic name as topic two. Simple. Okay. And let me just provide over here like topic two. All right. And then what I'm doing here is simply let me print a message over here that, hey, I am in topic two. I am in topic two. Now, let me do one more quick thing over here. Let me call my topic training inquiry. So we know that we have node available over here. Go to the topic management. And once you do that, you can have an option. Go to another topic. And at the time, you will be able to find the topic over here called uh, Booker Training. Okay, let's see whether I'm able to find it out or not. 
no i'm not able to find that out topic over here let me just search for that over here uh booker training yes i'm able to see that when i'm searching here it's showing me over here right let's click on that and as soon as you add that topic c it is returning me the output variable over here so that's the power you are getting with output variable so in that variable i mean booker training topic you make all those four variable as output variable right which means that when you call that topic in a return it is just giving you those four output property which is set by that particular topic so over here you will be able to retrieve this information okay now what i'm doing here is i'm just adding one more message over here that okay let's print out the value hello these are retrieved values from the topic book or training okay and let's print out the values over here so what i'm doing is i'm just taking the variable over here and again here search that email address let's say after that i want to print here like a name let's say even after that i just wanted to print over here like a phone number and let's say for an example i wanted to print out the training program as well okay so i can simply print that out over here okay currently i'm printing three variables over here that's it and click on save at this point all right and after that as well i'm just uh, adding one more message that ending topic 2 okay so we know that my topic 2 is ending over here okay ending topic 2 okay now let's try to understand this complete out parameter over here because out parameter is nothing so whenever you are calling that topic in return out property will give you all those property option in the original topic when it is called so from topic 2 when i am making the book a training topic call in a return it is just giving me those four output variable because we mark them as a out parameter okay now let's test this thing out and for testing what i am doing here is i'm just enabling this activity map from here and i'm just enabling this track between the topic as well so we know that it is going into right direction over here all right and now let me trigger my topic 2 so i'm just entering here the word topic 2 over here and let's see what it come up with so i enter topic 2 and basically it will start calling my topic 2 so so first of all it print that hello i'm in topic 2 and then we are calling that a book a training so it is start asking me the values so let me enter my name over here dhruvin and let me just enter my email address after that so i'm just entering my email address okay after that it is just asking me the phone number so i'm just adding my dummy phone number over here and then it is asking me which training i'm interested in so guys remember one thing my new power automate training this is actual scenario my new power automate training program is starting from next week uh, 20th of september 2025 it's the last batch so if you want to enroll feel free to enroll and you can always check out let's say if you're not watching this video now and later on if you want to check out the latest information of all my training programs there is a website available www.powerplatformtrainings.com and there you can see the detail of each training programs that are uh, that are offered by us okay so these are live and interactive training program where you can actually learn the things with me on live okay so that's it so let me just make the power automate over here that's it i selected and now see what where we land where we land is we just went away to the topic 2 again and you can see that uh, what are the retrieved value it just printed me over here because the out uh, variable value from that topic to this topic is returned over here and ending that topic right so this is the power you are getting with the out parameter right now let's explore the input parameter i mean in parameter right now let me go back and again here as well if you are going uh, to this particular topic you can able to see here all those four uh, topic properties are uh, available for you which you can see it over here because here you are consuming those variable as well underneath topic 2 right now let me go back over here and let me talk about one more interesting thing over here okay so what i'm doing here is uh, simply i'm just going to my uh, book a training topic over here first of all and let me show you one more interesting thing let me go to the variable section over here and let me go here and this time let me do one more thing here let me just make the first two variable as in parameter enabled 
now what is the power you are getting in parameter now you get to know out out means whenever the topic is called it will return the output to the topic from where it is being called right now here this is like a in which means that this is the topic where this incoming value is coming from somewhere else right so let's make this variable value as in parameter over here so i'm making email and name as in parameter in a bit okay and let's click on save over here let me just go back over here and now let me create one more topic over here topic 3 so i'm creating one more blank topic over here and i'm just providing my topic name as topic 3 okay and over here as well i'm just providing over here topic number 3 okay now let me do one more important thing over here let me add a message over here that hey i am in topic 3 okay let's save it and then let me just call uh let me just go to the topic management go to the another topic and let me just call my book or training topic over here all right and we know that this is what it is offering us basically when you are having this topic called already you are having four output variables so it is showing to you over here and in input it is showing you zero at this point but at this point you can see that you can supply the value from here as well so you can click on add input and you can supply in email address what value you want to supply okay let's say for an example there is a value available over here let me provide one system variable over here like whenever you are having in copilot studio it is offering some out of the box system variable for email and user kind of thing so i'm supplying user dot email over here so when you click on that it supply user dot email over here let's add one more input over here for name and now over here let me just supply over here from system variable like user dot first name right so i'm just providing the property user dot first name over here sometimes when you click on it and not appearing that's fine it's some little bit minor bug at this point let's click on save at this point that's how that topic is being called over here okay so that is being called and let me do one thing here after it finishes let me just print over here that back to topic 3 topic 03 so at least we will know that uh, how it is navigating properly right now how it will work here is what we are doing here is when topic 3 is called i am already supplying username and first name over here and i am supplying the current logged in user's email and first name over here okay now what i am doing here is just for the debugging purpose i'm just going to book a training purpose book a training topic over here and before it asks this questionary series what i'm doing here is i'm simply trying to print those variables somewhere over here so i'm just having send a message and i'm just making that okay uh, in parameter value i'm just printing this kind of message over here okay and if there are any values over there i can able to see it over here so what i'm doing here is here i'm trying to print the email address and here i'm also printing the name variable over here right that's it i'm just writing over here as well that's it all right and then i'm just starting now topic 1 question cover starts okay i'm adding this points just because you know we can understand it a better fashion because when i was uh, actually searching this topic there are many confusions i have that's the reason i have created this video so it clear out all the doubts here okay so that's it i'm done over here all right now over here i would like to request one thing if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me because these are the platform where i'm uploading short content the power platform all the links are available in the description box so do check it out over there all right now let's test this out first of all what i'm doing here is simply i'm just going to the overview section i just reset my chat and now let me just type here like topic 3 okay and now what will happen let's see the magic when you write topic 3 what happen here is we already set the system variables over there username and email address right so it printed that message to me hey i am in topic 3 and in parameter value it is just showing me over there so after that what happens we are calling our book a training topic and basically it just printed that message that okay from topic 3 these two values are already passing over here right and now the topic question one started 
Now what happen here is whenever you supply this kind of in parameter over here, so you can see your questionnaire series like what's your name, what's your email. So it just keep this both the question and why it's keep both the question because you are already getting those value as a in parameter and it directly ask you the question that what is your phone number, right? So it automatically skip that thing for you. And now let's say I'm just entering some dummy phone number over here and then I'm selecting that. Okay, my next program is power automate training program. I'm interested into that and that's it. You are all done and you just back on topic three afterwards and all good after that. All right, perfect. So this is what the in and out is looking like. So in means whenever you supply any in parameter uh, from any topic. So let's say from topic three, I want to supply some value to my topic one at the time I can mark those variable as a in parameter over there. And when in parameter is received, those values you can able to see into that particular topic. And this is the way how you can supply the value between the multiple topics in the world of Copilot Studio, right? Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. Also, if you are looking for premium only content from my channel, click on the join button over here and you can get the exclusive premium content over here. So far, two step by step tutorial series already out on my premium membership where you can learn responsive canvas application and power platform deployment pipeline and more and more thing will be out over here. And you can explore all your member only videos from this particular section over here and again i would like to thanks each and every one of the member who already been part of our premium membership all right and if you wanted to look out the latest training course information that i'm conducting as a classroom uh, live classes you can check out our website www.powerplatformtrainings.com and check out all the details over there with this this is Thruveen signing off see you in the next episode with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye